Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we'll be taking a look at 2015 Case T featuring two brand new cars M. Fenriksen and Sajan Korea Karia I'm not sure how you would pronounce his name but for the duration of the video I'll just call him Sajan Korea and um, I have not done a case video in a long time. It's probably been about a month now. And it's basically because I have not found anything. And the reason that um, Mattel, the distribution has been really bad this year. So getting cases out has been kind of slow. So um, this case has finally started to hit in the past two weeks. And I finally found it at one Walmart. I did find a fresh case. But there is one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about of uh, the alternative case and stuff. But let's get on to a few things I just wanted to mention before the video. I wanted to ask you guys if you want to see any more of the collection videos where I, I'm on a turntable and I show a bunch of cars going around like the Pissing Cup one or the Cars one, Lightning McQueen. Uh, if you want to see more of those, let me know. And um, just so you guys know, if you see on the schedule TBA, that means to be announced, which means I know what the video is going to be, I just don't want to announce it yet. And that's just so there's like a little bit of a surprise aspect to the uh, my videos. And uh, But to be TBD uh, means to be determined, which I do not know what the video is going to be yet. And when I do, I'll most likely post it on there. Um, and just so you guys know, another thing is that I'll be graduating today from middle school. I'm really happy, uh, it's pretty exciting for me, although it's not really anything compared to the future graduations that I'll have. So, uh, let's get into review here now. I just wanted to show you guys, though, that I did find brand new Mater after telling you guys in the, uh, last video how I needed a new one. And I did find one at my, uh, a Toys R Us yesterday, like two days ago, I think, I'm not really sure. So I'll be opening that one up, finally getting a good brand new Mater, so that's good. <clears throat> and uh, let's get into the packaging of each one of these. I selected five cars from 2015 Case T to review in this video. If there's any other ones that like Suki and Fillmore or any other one of the um, cars in, this vi in the case, just let me know and it'll be a suggestion video if you want me to review that. Let's start here with Sajan Korea. He is a blue Audi a repaint of Jonathan Shevko from the 2014 All No Blowout series. Very nice. I actually really like this one, but I have to say M. Fenderickson is my favorite. Although I really love the art on his card back, uh, as he's number one of six of the Airport Adventure series, a, a series that was in 2013 and now is making its second appearance in 2015. Uh, as you can see, there is another new release that will be coming out this year, Acer with Luggage Card. Most likely will be a deluxe, just so you guys know. Um, and here's a little bio. It's silly to the rescue as Finnick Missile and Mater race down the Tokyo Airport tarmac to escape the lemons. Now, it's kind of interesting how the repaint of... This guy's a repaint too, and he's actually a repaint of uh, <clears throat> Crate Rains and Wash, who was in the 2013... Uh, Airport Adventure series as you can see out of the package right here uh, the uh, Bios are the same just so you guys know um, And uh, I remember doing a few videos on these it's probably pretty old But if you do want to check that out or you want me to make some new videos on it just go ahead um, And I'll just want to show you guys compare them with the Jonathan Shifko card back I will compare the die cast, but I'll just show the card backs here as well uh, just a little bit different as you can see they did obviously change the art for it and the 2014 versus 2015 card backs So that's pretty much it for the Sajan Korea packaging Let's move on to M. Fenderickson. Sorry that there's a pause. It's just me kind of moving the cars around and uh, M. Fenderickson is from the Yi left turn in series the number three of seven the first two being Chauncey Fairs and Brian Fuel very nice, Brian Fuel was a deluxe, Chauncey Bears was the, his first single release. And uh, the bio is at Ye Left Turn In. You never, in Ye Left Turn In in London, you never know who will come crashing through the door. And it shows uh, Grem and Acer in trouble as they're about to get beat up. There's the Brett Warren wagon, I'm pretty sure. And then also the Paul Oakley and the Brett Warren wagon. I thought they were going to be deluxes, but it actually seems that they're going to be singles according to the package that's been released um, on eBay that I've seen. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. And um, here is the packaging of Crate, Rains, and Wash from the Airport Adventure Series back all the way in 2013. 
very nice. They did change the art, obviously. I really like this year's art because it really shows you the art instead of having this big Cars logo in the middle. It's a nice little difference. So that's it for Sajan, I mean M. Fenderson. And I also chose Maurice to review because Maurice was in the first 2015 case, but I never got to purchasing him. And he made a second appearance in this case, so that's pretty cool. He is number one of seven in the Palace Chaos series, a reoccurring series from 2013. Did not appear in 2014, but now is back in 2015. Uh, collect six more cars in the Palace Chaos series coming soon. This uh, is this way because it was the first case and Mattel did not change the card back. But more, most likely it would show like Jumpstar J Ward and probably like Scott Matoris or Manny Rodriguez. And the bio is there's a bomb. There is a bomb. Palace security detects a bomb on Mater and surrounds him as cars flee the area. This is was also released in the 2013 Palace Chaos series. I'm pretty sure I actually did a review on him, but it's been a while. Here's the 2013 packaging of Maurice. They just call him Maurice now, not Maurice Walks, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure why they do that exactly. And the fourth car that I chose to review is Matthew True Blue McCrew from the Race Fan series, number five out of nine. No new cars show on the back, but definitely all the other cars released in the series are new. And the bio is fans cheer on their favorite racers in the Seaside Town Polar Corza home to the second race of the World Grand Prix. Inaccurate because this is from Cars 2, the picture and the bio is from Cars 2. While all the cars being released in the series are from the first movie. And you can just see all these have been released in previous, oh, except for JW, he has not been released yet. So, uh, this was also released in 2014 in the R R Racing Sports Network series, as you can see the difference in the packaging. Uh, but they did keep the same art, obviously, because it is the same character, just enlarged it a little bit. And, uh, very nice, I actually really do like this car. It's its second time released as a single after only being released in the final lap, so I guess it's his third time, third time technically. And the fifth and final car I'll be reviewing in this video is Lizzie. And the reason I do not have the 2015 packaging of Lizzie is because if you guys don't know, there is an alternative case, a twin case, case V, which has the Super Chase Circus van in it. But I'm not referring to that. I feel like there's an alternative case of the, this regular case that has. Matthew True Blue McCrew instead of Lizzie, because I'm pretty sure I saw a fresh case, but I did not find Lizzie. And after looking at some eBay listings for the case, some of them have Matthew True Blue McCrew, but not Lizzie, and vice versa. So I feel like that's the deal, but I'll just be showing the 2014 packaging and reviewing the uh, loose version I have. But definitely I'll try to find the 2015 version and show it in one of my future videos. But let's get on and I'll open these all up and we'll check a look, take a look at the diecast version. Let's start with Lizzie. Now last year was the first release after a long period of time without a release of Lizzie, so it was pretty exciting. She she was released in, I believe, two cases last year, and now it's being released again as a single, so a little bit less exciting, but I'll definitely be picking up another version if I could find one. But this is definitely one of my favorite tunies, if not my favorite. I just love the wheels, the thin wheels, you can feel the treads on them. Uh, you can check out the extra wheel on the back here with the license weight MT23, which I'm pretty sure is the Model T. Uh, 1923 that's the year and uh, you can see the little red dot there I'm not really sure that's just kind of the backlight I would assume very nice uh, I really like this car this is the actually 2006 version uh, the single version so very old and um, I really like it it's a very nice car very well done little, not the most metal but I mean you can't really expect too much metal out of this one you can see the lights on the front and the little hood ornament there. So that's pretty much all you could really say for Lizzie. I mean, it's, it's just one of these uh, cars where you just look at and it's just a really nice car. And uh, <clears throat> I really hope I can find one of these uh, in the 2015 packaging as I just like the 2015 packaging better because you could see the car like that you're looking at a heck of a lot better. And uh, let's move on to Sajan Korea. Now, the reason I have two of them here is because I purchased one from a China seller a while back. And so I have the one that I bought at Walmart a few days ago. And so I just will keep that one in the package and um, have this China version, um, my loose <clears throat> my loose version. And uh, 
as you can see, he is a blue Audi. I love the blue Audi um, logo on his grill there. He's got kind of a determined expression, kind of maybe like a smirk. I'm not exactly sure where this one appeared in the movie, probably during the airport terminal um, scene, but I'm just not sure exactly where in that scene. Uh, I'm very happy uh, Mattel is releasing some more Audis and BMWs. At least some BMWs will be eventually released, like Scott Matoris. Um, as you can see, his license plate is AZ-498QC. Let's see if it's the same as Jonathan Schiffko's. It is what well, you guys know. That's very unfortunate there. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, the license plate is exactly the same. Um, has the same blue and everything dashes, but at least they are different in the sake of, you know, having different colors and expressions. But, um... It is kind of unfortunate that Mattel makes those mistakes. Um, I guess, you know, it's kind of easy for them to make that mistake, though, when they're using the same model. But it is kind of un un unacceptable when they're doing this. Having the, I think it was the clown car and van had the same license plate or something like that. That is just kind of unacceptable to me. But I guess this is not as bad. As you can see, there is the Audi logo above the license plate there and has a TT logo off to the left. Uh, as you can see, he's got the gas um, the gas opening here. Um, I'm blanking out on that. That again, I can't believe I, I'm blanking out on that. And there's also a little hole in the light there on um, both lights. Actually, that's part of the light, my bad. <laughs> Not really sure what I thought it was there for a second. You can see the uh, exhaust pipes on the back. And I really do like they added the plastic antennas on the top here. Very nice. And I have to say I like Jonathan Shifko better because it's just more of a classic silver Audi. But Sajan Korea is also a very nice uh, Audi as well. I like his expression. So they're both very nice, but I just have to go with Jonathan Shifko on this one. <clears throat> And let's move on to Maurice, or Maurice Welk says, they're just calling him Maurice now, and I bought this one back in 2013, uh, when it came out originally, it was, came out towards the end of the year, and uh, very nice, this is one of my favorite cars, I mean, it's very unique, there's never been a repaint of this one, I really like the wheels, you can feel the treads on them, and just look at the nice rims there, uh, white and the gray, on the inner side there, he's got the silver lining around the rims and the door handles there. And on the back, you have a very unique license plate, GRNGD2, very nice, almost 100% positive. There is nobody else with that license plate, and it's very nice and big. You can see it, a nice uh, kind of rectangular style. A little bit different, obviously, than an American license plate, as it is in uh, Great Britain, uh, England, United Kingdom, whatever you want to call it. Very nice expression. I like them a lot. Same expression in the 2015 version as well, if you were wondering. And I like this kind of indent there, as you can see. You just like a little indent in the hood there. You check out his grill and the light. Uh, very nice. It's kind of like a Land Rover, and he also has a nice matte finish on the top roof there. So, very nice. He was shown next to Victor Pavillon in the movie and was released in like pretty closely in that time to Victor Pavillon. Uh, <clears throat> so now let's move on to Matthew True Blue McCrew, one of the race fans from the original Cars 1 movie. Uh, probably one of my favorite fans just because I really like the expression and the flag that he's actually holding. There is no other uh, race fan that has this flag. Although you could see that uh, Brian, the uh, Parks Motor Souvenir, as has the flag for sale there in the back there, the king flag, pretty much the same. So very nice, I'll put him back right there, I pulled him out for the video. Uh, unfortunately though, he is the same model as several other cars, like the Circus GT that will be hopefully released later this year. Um, was it, uh, I'm blanking out right now, it's Chucky, and I'm pretty sure there's one more that I forgot, and I know it was a car that I recently reviewed. Um, it'll come to me guys. As you can see, he's got this kind of worried expression and this nice king flag. No license plate, unfortunately. Very small car, so there's uh, nothing really much more to compare him to. I guess I could, for size comparisons, take a look at him to Jonathan Schiffko. I mean, he's a very small car. <clears throat> so now let's move on to the final car of this video, which is a brand new release as well, M. Fenderson. 
and uh, I did have to open up the only one I had because I did not purchase one previously from China because all the ones from China for him were quite expensive. There is truly no difference in valuing between this one and Sajan Korea just because they both are repaints of a previous car. There's one per case. Um, there's nothing really more special about either one of them, honestly. But he's very nice. I really like this car. Uh, although he is a repaint of... As you can see, create rinse and wash. Both have kind of a negative expression, one more angry, one more a little tired, I don't care kind of look. So I wonder if we're ever going to get a happy one of these guys, but uh, very nice. Uh, I do have to say I like M. Fenderickson more on this one because there's more detailing, more color to him. Uh, as you can see, he's got a British flag on the side there, Trafal gear, Trafal gear with a T logo. And he's got the blue over the fenders and the blue rims. He does have this yellow hook on the back as well, along a crate rinse and wash as well as well, but M. Fenderson's a lot more shiny and glossy. Unfortunately, they still, they have the same decals on the back, uh, basically a U4 um, and then one for 18. This one does have a caution logo with Japanese characters though, as this was at the Japanese airport while this one was in the Yi left turn in bar. So, um, quite a bit different though on the rest of the car. I mean, this one's got a, yellow, a red hat, yellow cap, <clears throat> and the rest of it is uh, on the same as on the sides. And um, they both have this dirt going around them or rust, uh, as you can see. Oh, this one has the Kyoto logos instead of the Trifold gear. Um, got the dirt going around there. They do have different dirt patterns, which is a good thing. It did kind of seem like they were the same just by looking at the front there because it's all kind of concentrated on one side. But if you do see it, it's a little bit different. And um, once you go to the sides, it's different, especially on this side. As you can see, there's a lot more up here than there is there. So that's pretty much it for M. Fenderickson. I really do like his expression better. He's just kind of more fierce when you know you're being up Grandma Nacer. Just kind of a better expression than uh, M. Fender. I mean, Crate Ransom Wash, in my opinion. So that's all for this video. I apologize that it went on so long, but it's just one of these case unboxing videos, so they always tend to go on a little bit longer. So I hope you guys did enjoy that video, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for a suggestion video. Uh, goodbye now, and hopefully you'll be able to find these cars as well, as it's been a dry season for quite um, many collectors.